Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Holy Catholic Church is celebrating the feast of St. Josephine Bakita. I don't know how many of you have heard about St. Josephine Bakita. Of course, those who are from Africa and also those who are in Europe may know uh, St. Josephine Bakita. But in other places and other parts of the world, uh, this name may not be so familiar. Therefore, I would like to speak to you about the life of this saint, which is a very touching uh, in a story from the church history, history of the church and especially in Africa. My brothers and sisters, as a young girl, she went through terrible sufferings in her life. There is a movie called Bakita, which is available even online in the YouTube and other places. So if anyone get a chance, please do watch that movie. It also depicts a small portion, may not be so fully with all the difficulties which she's experienced, but to a certain extent, it also shows what she went through in her life. And please find out a time to watch this because it is good to watch the stories of our saints who lived a heroic way of life. And let's thank the Lord for those saints. And um, St. Bakita was born in Sudan in 1869, uh, somewhere Darfur region of Sudan. And uh, she was brought up in a very good family, almost rich family. Her uncle was a chief of the village and she never experienced any suffering during her young age. When she was very small, she was brought up in a very good family and family atmosphere, mother, father, everyone was there and she lived a good life. But one day when she and his, her mother and her elder sister were working in the field, Suddenly, some Arab slave traders came and caught hold of her elder sister and took her away, abducted her, which was very common in those days in Sudan and many other African time, African countries. The slave trade was very common. Initially, the slaves, the, the, Af the people in Africa were caught by the uh, Americans. They used to take them and make slaves in America. But later, as we all know, the slavery was stopped in America and then mostly the Arabians, the Arab Arabs came and took hold of uh, the people in Africa and made them slaves. So these Arab slave traders, they come once in a while, they come and catch these small children and take them and make them slaves. And though the Sudan was also controlled by a kingdom those days, but they were not so effective because these Arabs used to come with all the weapons and with all their might and power. And once they catch these people and take hold of these young girls and others and take them for slavery, the first thing that they do, they convert them, forceful conversion to Islam. They forcefully convert them. And then they sell them on this on the trade and the slavery, which is very common. My dear brothers and sisters, maybe when we speak all these things today, many many of us we will wonder whether these things are happening. Did it, it, it really happen in the in the life of human being? But let me tell you, one way or the other, these kinds of human trafficking is taking place in this world even today. May not be. Just like in the olden times, uh, some group of people come in the horses, horse bags, and then come and uh, catch some people and go. But there are some kind of hidden way of human trafficking is taking place. I happened to meet one girl along with the parents some months ago who came here. And this girl is influenced by another person who lives in another country whom he, he, she never met. And now... This girl wants to become, get converted to that religion, a particular religion that belongs and in which that boy belo believes and belongs to. And then the parents came and cried and they were complaining. They were worried about their daughter and they loved the daughter so much. But still she was so adamant that she was not ready to listen to her parents. But she wants to listen to that boy whom she met online but she never met personally and she wants to follow that religion and 
uh, follow that way of life these kinds of abductions a kind of abduction or a human trafficking is taking place in this world my dear brothers and sisters beware and let me tell you i asked i spoke to that girl and said how did you come to know about this boy and she said i came across this this man is not a boy's man and then uh, she said i came across this man through facebook and one day by mistake he sent a message and uh, addressing some other name and then i said i am not so and so person then slowly slowly we get in touch with each other we spoke we spoke spoke we spat uh, chat for a lot a lot more time and then she said um she, he never spoke about religion because i asked her did he speak anything about religion she said no she, he didn't he didn't speak at all about any religion but he was speaking about many other things and goody goody things and i also spoke then his family atmosphere he said i told my family atmosphere and every time every detail of my life he is to inquire and then she became addicted then i asked her uh, so did you ever saw him then she said no no i didn't meet him and but every day whenever she is in the she always think about him because he was very compassionate it seems he was very merciful compassionate and uh, went to the church he used to uh, through online she used to he used to wish wish her okay go to the church and pray for me and all but later when she was so fond of him when he came to know that she is so fond of him and attracted to him then suddenly he is as if he started asking some questions about bible some doubts about bible and so many other things about bible which she had no answer because she is not so fond of bible and she never knew knew about all these things and she was trying to convince her, convince her but because of her because of his tough questions which seemed to be very tough because and she said he knows every detail of the bible so the in front of that tough questions she could not answer and slowly slowly she started doubting the bible and slowly slowly she was influenced by his way of life and then he she was so curious to know about his religion his book and which he also openly told her but she he never insisted her to know his religion she insisted him to know his religion and then i told her be very careful about this boy he he is part of a conspiracy which is happening around the world a kind of global conspiracy to have a human trafficking get hold of some especially some weak girls and take hold of them and make them fall into love relationship and get attracted and catch them and convert them to their religion and take them away this is a global conspiracy that is taking place in many places be careful then suddenly she said but father he never told me anything to convert he never told me to convert to his religion but then then why are you getting converted i asked her because i feel convinced after talking to him so this is what she said and i was trying to speak to her and i all the questions which she said i gave the answers for everything one by one then she was convinced and she was happy and she went back after for one week she was not talking to him but after one week again that boy started getting in connection with this girl and then he started crying as if he he was missing and then she said all these things which he which he learned from us but then he started blackmailing her emotionally she had no choice but she go after that girl boy my dear brothers and sisters why do i say this example which happened in my life with the with the family because later i came to know a similar example similar things are taking place in the lives of so many other people in this world